Okay. Hi everyone. Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about my personal experience as a sophomore CS student at Purdue. Um, take everything I say with a grain of salt because I was online for the whole semester so my experience is going to be different than someone who is on campus. First I'll be talking about what classes I've taken, um, what we learn in the class, and what courses they are, and also like my rating of how difficult it is. And then I'm gonna be talking about the different extracurriculars I did this year. So first, what classes did I take this year as a sophomore? The first class was CS250 or computer architecture. This class was so hard. We had exams every single Friday and we had labs every week and these were not like easy like exams okay like they were actually really hard we basically had to learn about like hardware and stuff and i don't really remember much about it because it was so long ago um and i don't think i ever really fully understood any of the concepts but basically we learned about computer system organization and programming data representations logic design i'm just reading from the website um io structures memory system bus protocols um difficulty level i would give it a 10 worst class ever. Next class I took was CS251, Data Structures and Algorithms. This was super useful class to take because you learn about like the basic algorithms and also like data structures in CS, like red black trees and um, shortest path algorithms. I think we had two midterms throughout the whole semester. We also had four projects, which were like actual coding projects. And my class was in Java, but I know that other professors will use like C or something for their CS251 courses. And then we also had a final and we also had free frequent homeworks, I think. Maybe we had like five homeworks in total? I don't remember. This was a good class. Difficulty level, I'd rate it a six or a seven or an eight. But yeah, this is a CS major requirement, so you will have to take it if you're in CS. The third class I took first semester was Entrepreneurship 200. This was on intro to entrepreneurship, and the reason why I took this class is because I was an online student, so there were like limited um, courses that I could choose from. So I decided to take entrepreneurship because it looked interesting, and it was pretty interesting. The whole class was like quizzes every week and we had group projects like six total in the whole semester and I really enjoyed the class it wasn't too much work and because of this class I honestly might do a certificate of entrepreneurship because a lot of the courses that are required for the certificate are covered by CS major requirements so if you're a CS major definitely look into the uh, entrepreneurship certificate because it is easier than you think to get it difficulty level is a one. Definitely recommend Entrepreneurship 200. Fourth class that I took my first semester was Linear Algebra. I took MA 265. This class is pretty straightforward. It's just Linear Algebra. There's two midterms and a final for the whole semester and there's daily homeworks on my math lab or my lab math. Again, this was pretty difficult for me but at the same time, like first semester, I was juggling a job. Difficulty level for Linear Algebra, I'd rate it a nine because that stuff was hard. On to second semester. First class of second semester was CS252, Systems Programming. This class, we learned about program generation, representation, transformation, scripting, Unix systems, file systems, threads and synchronization, network programming, and programming and project tools. I got that from the website. There's three lectures every week. There's daily quizzes, which are basically just like for attendance and there's one lab section per week. So there's a total of five projects throughout the entire semester, one of them being the infamous shell project. So, so you got that coming for you. Honestly, none of the labs are super easy because you have to learn. I mean, that's school, right? Okay, never mind. We suffered through shell, that was lab three. In my opinion, this class is hard. Other people probably found it much easier, but for me, it was a hard time. There's one midterm and there's one final for this class. And the difficulty rating, I would rate it a 9. Pretty fair rating, I think. Next class I took was CS307, which is Software Engineering 1. So there are two parts to this class. The first part of the class is three lectures per week and we're learning about like software stuff and like working in a team. And there's daily quizzes and there's a total of 
three homeworks throughout the whole semester and the homeworks are like essays and we have to read articles and stuff. And, um, we learn about like software engineering as a career and different types of testing, project cycles, etc. The second part of the class is a semester long group project where you have to develop a fully functional project. So my group made a social media app that was geared towards college students. For the project, I would describe it as a semester long hackathon but with planning documents so we have to submit like um sprint planning documents and we have to submit retrospectives we have to do demos every three weeks and um, we have to do like a design document stuff like that difficulty for me i would say it was a 10 it was pretty hard but I did learn a lot from the class and I'm really grateful that I took it in this semester because I think it really helped me to learn a lot and get familiar with the software engineering stuff. Ah! Next class, Stat 350, Intro to Statistics. Three words to describe this class, worst class ever. I hate this class so much. If you know me like even one little bit, you know that I hate stats. I hate this class so much. This class is just high school level statistics, but there's so many unnecessary requirements in this class. Let me tell you, there's one hard homework every week. There's one hard computer lab every week that's in our studio. There's a quiz every single day. There's two discussion posts every single week. There's three midterms throughout the whole semester, and usually there's only one or two midterms like in a class, but they have three. There's a final group project and there's a final exam. Like a group project and a final exam, like just pick one. And there's three midterms, like it's too much. On top of that, we're required to ask and answer questions on Piazza for points. I never ask questions on Piazza. Unfortunately, stats is a CS major requirement, so I had to take it, but I believe you can use stat 355 instead of 350 to fulfill the requirement and i've heard that's a lot better so please try and avoid 350 try and do 355 instead i'm sure your life will be a lot easier difficulty 10 because of how many stupid requirements there are and how many midterms there were last class i took for second semester of my sophomore year is com 217 which is science writing and presentation this is a required course for cs majors so Honestly, most of my people in the comm class were CS majors who were just like fulfilling the requirement. Um, this class exercises your public speaking skills and we have weekly quizzes based on our textbook and also Flipgrid videos like answering a question or whatever. They're pretty fun. And we have a final group project and no final exam. I honestly, I like the content of the class. It wasn't too bad for me and not a really bad experience in my experience. Definitely my easiest class this semester. Difficulty, I'd rate it a four. Now I'm gonna be talking about my extracurriculars. I only did two main extracurriculars this year because I wanted to commit myself to them and I couldn't really participate in much since I was an online student this year anyway. First thing that I was a part of is the Boilermake exec board. So I've been on the board since um, March of my freshman year. If you don't know what Boilermake is, it's a 36 hour hackathon. It's free to attend, there's free stuff, free food, and overall it's just a fun time. I'm on the executive planning board, which means we plan the event over the course of the whole year and in the summer. First semester of my sophomore year, I was on the UX team, which means we handle logistics and stuff like that. Second semester, I became director of the exec board, so it came with a lot of different time commitments because we were recruiting people and stuff like that, but I love Boilermake so much, so. If you're interested in attending the event or applying to be on the executive board, definitely do so when the time comes. You will not regret it if you go to Boilermake or if you apply to be on the board. And you'll get to be friends with me. <laughs> the next extracurricular I did this year was Alpha Kappa Delta Phi International Sorority Incorporated. AK85 is an Asian interest sorority at Purdue. I wanted to join because I was doing online school and it was really hard for me to like make friends and branch out if I was just online. So, and also I just missed having like a group of Asian friends who like had the same similar backgrounds as me. So it was cool that I was able to join online. I'm very grateful that I was able to 
do the whole process online that they allowed me to do that. I joined fall 2020 and the time commitment was pretty heavy for me. Please rush fall 2021. In my experience, it was really rewarding and it's a really incredible experience just to be able to meet different people. And I've met some of my bestest besties through AK85. And if you rush, you'll get to hang out with me. I'll be there at every rush event. I really do encourage you to rush a kitty fi Anyway, during fall 2020, I was going through process so I didn't hold any cabinet positions. But in spring 2021, I was a part of the fundraising committee, cultural committee, and webmistress in a kitty fi Webmistress is just updating the Purdue a kitty fi website. And for next semester, for fall 2021, I will be a part of the rush planning committee and the publicity committee and also I am the social media chair which means if you see Purdue A Kitty Fi Instagram posting anything that will be me. Alright so that's it for my classes and extracurriculars. I hope this video was helpful to you in some way or another. Remember to take everything I say with a grain of salt like my difficulty levels of stuff like that because I was online this semester and everyone's online experience is different but everyone's online experience is also different from in-person experiences. If you're like on the fence on attending Purdue, I think you should attend Purdue. Go watch some of my other videos if you're interested what on-campus life is like. We'll be back on campus in August so if you see me, come say hi, come hang out, come to the AK85 Rush events, come to Boiler Make. I will definitely be filming more on campus since I will be there. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to comment them below. And if you don't have any questions, comment Butter Slime. I'm in my slime phase right now. Don't forget to like and subscribe, please. It makes me very happy. Okay, bye.